everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to my friend John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. So let's get started. I've got some Coffee Masters coffee to make today, so I'm going to get my percolator going with that now. In the past, my percolator has not really cooperated in my videos and it's been really noisy. Hopefully today, it will behave itself better. This American coffee is from Papua New Guinea. Interesting fact about Papua New Guinea is that there is a bird that flies out from Papua New Guinea to Australia every year when it's warm and it makes the most awful sound. It's a channel bill cuckoo bird and it basically throws other birds out of its nest. Makes another bird raise its young. Well some people do that don't they? This makes a perfect pot full of coffee. I'm only going to make a little bit of this today. Oh it smells very delicious. So come on in coffee maker. Come into the shop so everyone can see how you're going. In fact you know what I think you deserve to be on the table. If you can reach can you? No the cord's not long enough. <laughs> you don't need to see it do you? I'll lift it up. For those of you who, isn't that delightful? I'm gonna do a bit of a guess. Can you go? I like my coffee strong. In the meantime, I've got lots of things to try. Let's try this one here. This is sweet and spicy barbecued seasoned pork jerky, which, you know, I've never been a huge jerky fan, but this might change my mind. Seriously, it's pretty noisy. Oh, oh yeah, no. I like the smoky smell in it. What's this look like? Like leathery bits of meat. I really do feel like Cannibal Lecter right now. Actually, I don't mind this one. Oh, yeah. It has a really nice sweet and spicy barbecue flavor through it. Mmm. This is probably one of the first jerkies I've actually thought that's all right. This is made by Trails Best, and I suppose the... Honestly, well, I never learned. I love it how it didn't work out last time, yet I'm doing it again in this video. This is actually a pretty good beef jerky. Just ignore that sound, please. This is made by Good Sense, and it is Chipotle Sunflower Nuts. Chipotle is not a flavor that's really a thing here in Australia. I have had it before in, in chips or some... I don't know, I've had it in something anyway. This is packaged in the USA. Do you want to have a look in the bag even though there's a see-through window? Someone said yes, there you go. Mmm, they smell pretty good. Let's pour some of these out of my hand. Mmm, are they yummy? They've got a really nice peppery, smoky flavour to them. They've got paprika in them, I swear it does. It says in the ingredients, salt, well no wonder I love them. Salt's not good for you by the way. Yes, it does say paprika as well. Sugar and spices, yum. Tomato powder, onion powder and garlic powder. Very tasty, lots of flavour in these. And they'd be somewhat good for you I'd say because it's got a whopping great vitamin E thing there. These ones, really tasty. I'd definitely eat these again. Pringles, and this is an interesting flavour. Top ramen chicken. I don't know why it says top. Why? Is it like the best? It's got a whopping great big bowl of ramen there, or ramen, 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 ramen. There they are. Mmm! I can smell chicken. Is this a flavor you'd try? Let me know in the comments below. Mmm! Oh! Yeah, that really does taste like chicken ramen. It's bizarre. Mm. Mm. I was a little bit concerned because I thought they'd be too chickeny because our chicken chips here are really really quite strongly flavored it's like they're putting like 10,000 chickens into the packet but this one probably just the one but the right amount of salt in it which I really like and a subtle flavor of the chicken in there and it does taste like chicken ramen time for a beverage break so it's time for my coffee I've got a see-through cup today because I thought that might be better Ooh, doesn't that look good people that don't drink coffee say no cheers mmm it's not a very dark, rich roast. It's quite subtle in its flavor. I'd say it's a pretty mild roast. But apart from that, the flavor is quite nice and it's actually pretty good coffee. I'm not really a coffee connoisseur. Why are you listening to me? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really know that much about coffees. This one is probably one I wouldn't necessarily get again because it's not very dark roast coffee. And I like my coffee really rich. Mmm. 
Also, I put too much milk in. <laughs> Welcome to the next thing, and it's this. And I'm slightly terrified of this box, I've got to admit. It's a Hormel product, and it's black label, naturally hardwood, fully cooked, original, thick bacon. In a box. It's about 10 slices, and it's ready to eat. This here, it only takes 10 seconds in the microwave to cook two slices, and that is what I'm going to do today. Do you want to look at it? I do. I'm really curious to see what's going to come out of here. Um, oh, that really is just bacon in a packet, hey. <laughs> oh, 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 open it here, why not? Just going to take this bacon downstairs and let's cook it. Sorry, I'm getting past this umbrella. They're my lighting umbrellas because otherwise this room's way too dark. It's really dark here at the moment because it's just about to rain. I don't want to show you my house because it's messy. You ready to cook some Hormel bacon? Oops. <laughs> that didn't happen. Mm, bit greasy feeling. 10 seconds, eh? Hey? Oh, I can't believe this. I have never microwaved bacon in my life, so first time for everything. That's the glory of YouTube. It's ready. Is it though? Yee. Oh, yeah, it's ready. But let's go. <laughs> Right, here we are. Back in the bright, right, right room. Coffee and bacon is practically like breakfast here today. Right, so let's try this. It feels slightly slimy. Oh no, it's a little bit crispy though. I'm a bit weird too. Usually when I have bacon, I actually put it on paper and blot out a lot of the oil from it. Not because I'm health conscious. It's <laughs> mm, actually pretty good. I'm surprised. Wow. Okay. The flavour is actually pretty good. It's nice and smoky tasting and I'm quite surprised that bacon out of a package can taste pretty good. I'm surprised. Really surprised. This is not something that we have here in Australia. We just keep all of our bacon in the fridge. But it's very salty. It's very smoky tasting. Not bad. 100 grand and I've got six of them so I've got 600 grand. Oh these sound good. These are made by Nestle. They're chewy caramel milk chocolate with Five crispy crunchies. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's a dollar sign. I thought it was a five. <laughs> I thought there were six of them and only five of them had the crispy things in them. <laughs> I thought, well, well, how's that fair? Let's have a look. I love that they're little tiny mini ones. That's pretty cute. How adorable are these? Oh. Oh, check this out. Oh, mmm, love them, absolutely love them. You can see the filling in the middle there. What I really like about these is that these are very similar to one of my favorite chocolate bars, which is the Chiquito, which has caramel and Rice Krispies in it. Rice Krispies in chocolate, I'm a big fan of. They have that extra dimension, that bit of crunch in there. So the texture of it's really good. And then it's got that lovely tasty caramel in there as well. Absolutely delicious. These would have to be one of my favorite American candy bars I've tried so far. Yum. Thank you so much, John, for sending me this amazing variety of treats. Lots of thoughts gone into this, and I really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. If you want to support me and my channel, please remember to share this video, give it the thumbs up, and subscribe for more. Have a fantastic week, everyone. Bye. Naturally hard smoked salmon. It's not salmon. <laughs>